Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting algebra problem today, I hope you will enjoy this video. We have two answers, a plus b equal to 1, a square plus b square equal to 2, and we need to find a, a to 11 plus b to 11's power, what it will be equal to. Of course, I hope you will enjoy this video, so I want you to, to write any comment, it helps me a lot, and it will be really kind from your side to, to like this video and to write any comment, it helps me a lot and it inspires me a lot. So let's try to solve it. Firstly, I want to write this first row, a plus b equal to 1. So a plus b equal to 1. And right now I want to raise both sides to the square. I want to square both sides. We will have a plus b squared on the left equal to 1 square. So as a result we can raise it because this is a classic case. We have a square plus b square and plus 2ab equal to equal to 1. So, I want to mention one really interesting thing. We know that a square plus b square equal to 2 from this, from in the beginning. So, this is equal to 2. So, we have that 2 plus 2ab equal to 1. Let's bring this 2 on the, le on the right hand side. We will have minus 1 half 2ab equal to, not minus 1 half, but, but minus 1. And dividing both sides by 2, we have that ab equal to minus 1 half. And this is the first really important answer for us, that a, b equal to, equal to 1 half. But let's go first, we need to find a to 11th power and we need to go step by step to this power. So I want to write this row at f as well, once more, a plus b equal to 1. And right now let's not raise to the square, let's raise this to the, to the cube power. So if we raise this to the cube power, we will have that a plus b raising to the third power equal to one cube. On the left hand side this is a classic cube cube formula. We all know this formula, let's let's write it a cube plus b cube and plus 3ab times a plus b equal to 1. This is a classic formula that we know it. But I want to mention one really interesting thing. We know that a b equal to minus one half and we know that a plus b equal to equal to 1. So we can easily write it at first as a cube plus b cube. Instead of a b we can write minus one half with this plus it will be minus or I write it step by step plus three times minus one half and a plus b equal to one. So times one times one equal to one. And let's simplify this a little bit. We can multiply this expression it will be minus 3 half we bring it on the right hand side we have 5 half so a cube plus b cube equal to 5 half and this is the next really important answer for us that a cube plus b cube equal to 5 half okay what we're we going to do next on the bottom of this expression a cube plus b cube equal to 5 half i want to write a square plus b square a square plus b square with the, this option we know that this will be equal to 2. And right now I want to multiply this one by this one. So let's multiply it. This parenthesis by this one. So what we'll have as a result? We will have that a cube plus b cube times a square plus b square equal to 5 half times 2. So we're just multiplying these both, both parentheses. And if you multiply it parentheses by parentheses, we will have a to the fifth power, a, a to the fifth, plus a cube b square plus b cube a square and plus b to the fifth power equal to 5. So let's simplify this a little bit. Let's regroup this element. Let's group fifth power on the left hand side. So we have a, a to the fifth plus b to the fifth. And the next we have this one. We have plus a square b square. I just wanted to factor it. And in parentheses we will have a plus b. a plus b equal to 5. And right now I want to show you a really interesting trick because a plus b we know it. a plus b equal to 1. And we can write this a square b square as a b squared, which is equal a b equal to minus one half. So this is really good for us. We have a to the fifth power plus b to the fifth 
the next what do we have we have plus right here minus one half squared minus one half squared and times one equal to five if you have right here one fourth, one fourth bringing on the right hand side, five minus one fourth, it will be a to the fifth plus b to the fifth equal to 19 over over four. And this is the next important, really important answer for us that a to the fifth plus b to the fifth equal to equal to 19 over four. But as you can see right here, we have 11th power. And we have fifth power, so it looks like we need a to the sixth power and b to the sixth power, and then we multiply it, and we will have a to eleven. But how can we get this sixth power? Take a look to this answer. We have a cube plus b cube. If we have a cube plus b cube equal to five half, if we raise both side to the second power, if we squared both side, we will have that a cube plus b cube squared equal to five half squared. And if we raise this, what we'll have? We have the formula. I, I separate this from this one right here. So what we have? We have a to the 6 plus b to the 6 to the 6 power and plus 2a cube b cube equal to right here if we raise this to the square we have 25th over over 4. So I hope you understand this step. We just squared both both sides. And right now, if you look closely to this one, a cube, b cube, we can easily write this a cube, b cube as a, b, a, b cube. So we can rewrite it in, in another way. We can write it as a to the 6 plus b to the 6 and plus 2 times a, b, q. But we know that a, b equal to minus 1 half. So we can write it as plus 2 times minus 1 half cube equal to 25 fourths. So I hope you understand this step. And take a look closely. We have 1 half cube minus 1 half. So it looks like minus 1 eighth. If we multiply 2 by minus 1 over 8, we have minus 1 fourth. And if we bring this minus one fourth to this side, we have 25 fourths plus one fourth, we'll have 26 fourths over four. So what we have as a result, we have that a to the six plus b to the six equal to 26, 26 over four. And the next really important part to our answer, we have a to the six equal to, equal to 26 fourths. Okay, and the last step, I hope you see right now that we have fifth power right here, we have sixth power right here, and if you multiply both parentheses, we will have our answer. But let's go to this answer step by step. Firstly, multiplying fifth power, we have a to the fifth plus b to the fifth times a to the sixth plus b to the sixth equal to, from this one, 19 fourths over four times 26 over 4. Or we can easily divide both sides by 2. We have denominator, denominator cancel by 2. We have 13 over over 2. So right here hides our, our answer. So let's multiply parentheses by parentheses. What do we have? Parentheses by parentheses. a to 11 plus a to the fifth times b to the sixth power plus b to the fifth a to the sixth power plus b to 11th equal to, if you multiply it, we will have 2, 4, 7 over, over 8. So we need to simplify this a little bit. Let's group 11's power at first. We have a to 11's and b to 11's. Let's group it. a to 11's plus b to 11's power. And what we can do in this case, we have a to the fifth, b to the sixth, and b to the fifth, a to the sixth. So a and b to the fifth power will be our common, common answer. So plus a b to the fifth power, we factor in it. But in parentheses from this one, if you multiply, if we factor in fifth power, we have b. From this one, we have a. So a plus b, a plus b, equal to two four seven over over eight. And I hope you see right now that a over a times b from here, from this row, we have minus one half. a plus b equal to one in the beginning. So what do you have as a result? We have as a result really interesting answer. We have a to 11 plus b to 11. We have 
plus and we have odd power so still we still have minus one half to the fifth equal to one over 32 equal to 247 over 8 and the last step as you can see we need to find a to 11 plus b to 11 at in the beginning so we need to add it this one to this one a to 11 plus b to 11 power equal to 247 over 8 and plus 1 over 32 so the common denominator will be 32 so from here we multiplying by by 4 we have 9 8 8 and plus 1 so our final answer will be a to 11 plus b to 11 equal to 9 8 9 over 32 and this is our final answer really interesting problem a lot of tricks right here so i hope you enjoyed this video if you still have any question write a question in the comment write any comment put your likes i really appreciate it and it helps me a lot to improve my content thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos have a great day